matter. So I, I just wanted to say it's really kind of a microcosm uh, of, not to put too fine a point on it, but climate change. Because we are, um, it's, an, it's a small rural indigenous low income community and we're at the point, the steer point of climate change, but it's coming for everybody. We're the canary in the coal mine. We, ha we had the heat and the chaos, but we weren't prepared. And I don't believe that society is prepared in the same kind of way. And so we have to, as a society, work together to get ready and to make changes now. Because as we've discovered, if you are scrambling at the last minute, you leave people behind. Scrambling at the last minute to the extent that you literally left with the clothes you have on right now. This is what you were wearing yesterday. You're with friends, presumably, in Vancouver? With, yes, family. Oh, what's next for you? Well, th that's, we don't know. When we left, our house was still standing, but we have no idea what, what, it's, what is there now. Um, and so it's just one, not even one day at a time. It's one hour at a time. Um, we hope to be able to go back and find out what, what happened there, but the, the pictures that have been in the media are not encouraging. It's like apocalyptic scenes of whole blocks just not even being flattened, but being just disappearing in the flames. So uh, it's, it's, it is hard to know how to keep going, but you just have to. And even if your house is still standing, we know a lot of the structures in Lytton were burned down. It is a small village. I, I've been through it before, tiny. Uh, if your house is still there, will you go back there and live? I, well, nothing's, nothing's for certain, but I, I feel that we, I, I would like to feel that we would. I mean, it's, it's a much larger community. It's a very small, Lytton itself is very small, but as I said, the area is 80% indigenous and there's a lot of small communities all around, many of whom have also been burned down and been affected by this and been affected by climate change, but there is still a very strong sense of community there that, that we cherish and that we want to continue to, to be involved with. All right, well, Gordon, thank you for speaking with us and I, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for having me.